hello nine to twelves how are we i've missed you guys i've not been able to teach you every week i've really missed it which is why i'm so happy that kate said that we're going to be doing these because in all honesty i don't know about you guys but it's, been, it's an odd time isn't it it's a really odd time you guys aren't at school we, we can't go outside you know it's it's an odd time so having this is actually really, really, personally, selfishly, really, really good for me. So I hope you guys will enjoy it too. Now, this is going to be a bit of a shorter lesson than what we usually do, uh, because we can't do a lot of the group exercises that we usually do. So we're going to start off with a warm up, like we always do. As actors, we should always do a warm up before we do a rehearsal or a performance, shouldn't we? So we're going to start with that, and then we're going to get on to the main exercise. And before we do the main exercise, I'll explain why we're doing it and what I want you to do with it, okay? So, I am going to pause this because of the wonders of technology. As you can probably tell guys, I'm not really used to doing this, so we'll see how we go. I'm not the most technologically sound, am I? You guys know this. This is not news to you. You've seen me try to work a laptop in the lessons, so I'm going to pause this, hopefully. I'm going to put my chair to the side. So make sure you've got enough space to move around in. Okay, so in your bedroom or in the living room, wherever you are, make sure you've got not enough room so you can move about in. Okay, right, so I'm going to pause it and then we'll get started with the warm up. Pause. Ah, there it is. Like magic. I have unpaused. Right, guys, so we're going to start as we pretty much always do with a nice pretend we're all in a big circle like we usually are and we're going to start with a roll up with a nice just roll into the shoulders the shoulders all nice and loose and i'd like you to hike your shoulders up as high as you can towards you try and touch your ears try and touch your ears with your shoulders try and really hard and then let your shoulders relax with a big sigh <sighs> Lovely, I'll give a bit of a shake off. And try again, try and touch your shoulders with your ears. Try really, really hard, try, try, and then... Oh, lovely, and now we're gonna stretch, try and touch the ceiling. Try as hard as you can and touch the ceiling. Try, 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 and then we're gonna bend at the hips with a big sigh out. Stretch, 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 three, two, one, and bend at the hips with a sigh. Lovely, and when you bend down like this, just give it a little sway from side to side. Lovely, and then back up again, back up with a big, big stretch, big, 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 big stretch, as high as you can, as tall as you can, and then three, two, one, oh, before we go, oh, that's it, and a nice little sway, lovely, right, and now, I'm just going to do some nice circles, with the head, oh, if you're old like me, you can hear your neck kicking, but you're nice and young. You shouldn't be having any of that. Oh, lovely. And then just give it a little shake. Oh, and then pretend we've got a big, massive plate of jelly, okay? Whatever flavour you like, I personally have gone with strawberry. So it's massive. It's a big mound of jelly and a massive, massive plate. And on the count of three, we're going to shake that jelly as hard as we can, okay? And three, two, one, shake the jelly! Shake it! Shake it as hard as you can, hard as you can, and then we're going to throw it up in the air. <sighs> and then it'll get all stuck to the ceiling, but that's not our problem, is it? It's mum and dad's problem. <sighs> no, only joking. Right, so, oh, next one, a bit more of a physical warm-up. Now, I, I don't know if any of you guys have been doing Joe Wicks PE classes, they've been loads of fun. So, you'll be you'll be much better at this than I will, but we're going to start just with <laughs> jumping jackets. Lovely, lovely, keep going, nice and tall, lovely, and faster, double time, double time, double time, double time like this, and see if you can go faster than me, I'm going to go as fast as I can, see if you can go as fast as you can, oh, oh, oh. <sighs> I didn't say stop just because I'm old, and I stopped, doesn't mean you can stop, keep going, as fast as you can, as fast as you can, you're not allowed to stop. I didn't say stop. Only when I say stop can you stop doing as fast as you can, as fast as you can, and stop. Oh, I hope you guys are all out of breath, like me. Oh, but now, so we've, done, we've warmed up our bodies, we're feeling a bit more lovely, a bit more warmed up. Now, 
we've got to warm up our faces. Another part of the body that needs exercise is our faces. So I want you to hold on your hand and pretend you've got a lovely, massive piece of toffee in your hand. Lovely. Now it's in a wrapper, so we've got to take it out of the wrapper. Like that, and then put the wrapper in the recycling. My recycling bin is actually just there, so that worked out well. Okay, so we've got a nice big bit of toffee. Now I want us to put it in our mouth. Mmm, and now you've got to try and chew it, but it's quite hard to start off with. Mmm, mmm, mmm. But it still has to get softer, but it's still really big. You've got to try and move around your mouth. Try and chew it. Mmm. But it tastes delicious. It's the most delicious piece of toffee you've ever had in your life. So let's make lots of nice mmm sounds. Mmm. 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 Lovely. Now it's starting to get nice and soft now. So it's just nice and you can enjoy it. And then we eat the toffee. And then we want to show everybody else that we finished our toffee. So everybody stick your tongues out as far as they can. Uh, and look at just point it up and then point right at the TV or the phone, whatever you're watching this on and go, ah. Like that, do that for me. Lovely. And then do it the same, but let your tongue go nice and loose. So, huh. And then do the exact same thing. So, huh. Straight at me. Come on, guys. Let's see. Let's see your best blur at me. Go on. Go on. 90 twelves. I know you can do better than that. I know you can. So, on the count of three, I want to see the most ridiculous, scary, silly face you can pull. And I want it straight at me. Straight at me, guys. Okay. Three, two, one. Off you go. Oh. Oh. I knew you'd come through, but I didn't think you'd come through that well. Wow, that, uh, that took me back. But thank you guys. Lots of lovely faces. Mm. Like mine. Uh. Right, okay, lovely. So that's all done. Now, there we, we do have one exercise that's going to be required to be on the floor. So we'll do the rest of the exercises. We'll pause the camera and then we'll go down to the floor so we can do them. Okay, so we are going to do... Let's do what we haven't done in a while, actually. We haven't done fruit and veg in a while. So, I'm going to do four fruit and veg, and then I'm going to give you a minute to do five of your own. So you get to choose your own, okay? So, the first one I will do is the, the classic banana. Now you do it. Banana. Lovely. And then I will, second one is kiwi. Now let's do it all together. Kiwi! Lovely. And now we'll do a we'll do a vegetable this time. And we will do aubergine. Lovely. Now all together. Aubergine. Lovely. And then my last one. Uh ooh, go for my favourite vegetable. Pea. And then let's do it all together. Pea. Lovely. Now you guys, you have got one minute, one minute on the clock to do, I said five, but actually see how many you can do. Count for me. We'll make it into a little bit of competition. Okay? So, five, four, three, two, one. You've got one minute. Go, go, go. As many as you can, guys. As many as you can. Lovely. I'd like to see a nice mix of fruit and vegetables. You can choose the same vegetables as fruit as I did, but try and do a different movement. Do make up your own ones. Lovely. You guys have got 30 seconds left, okay? See how many more you can do. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Oh, oh I'm in my breath, guys. Keep going, keep going. You've got 15 seconds left. 15. 
15 seconds. Come on. Let's see how many you can do. And you have got five, four, three, two, one, and finish the one that you're on. Lovely. Now, remember that number. Remember it because you can email it to me later and we'll see who did the most. Okay, right, so we're gonna do some nice, now we've warmed up our faces, we've warmed up our bodies. We're gonna do a couple little things to help warm up our voices. Now as actors, we need to warm up our bodies and our voices, don't we? So we're gonna do a little tongue twister to start. And it's a quite simple one. There's only two words in it. It's many men. I don't know if you guys have done this before, you might have done, but if you haven't, the song, you literally have to say many men to this song, okay? So he goes, many men, 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 many men. And that's all we're gonna do for today. We're just gonna start off nice and slow. Nice and slow, okay? So everybody together after three. One, two, three. Many men, 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 many men. So how was that guys? Was that a bit easy for you? I think that was a bit well that was like that was too easy for us, Amy. Alright then, alright then. We're gonna step up one notch and we're gonna do many women. Okay? So it's the exact same thing, but instead of saying many men, you're gonna say many women. Right, so here we go. Many women, many women. See, I've already gone wrong. All right, now with the modern like wonders of technology, I could just go back to the start and pretend I didn't mess up, but failure is absolutely fine in acting. You learn more by failing. So I'm gonna go rewind back up to here and we're gonna go again. Right, okay, so one, two, Many women, 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 many women. Okay. Alright, should we try that one again? One more time. One more time, guys. One more time, and then we'll move on to something else, okay? All together. Three, two, one, go. Many women, 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 many women. Many women, many women. Whew. Now, some of you out there might be thinking, well, that was really easy, Amy. I did that absolutely fine. I didn't mess up like you did, which is good. Well done. If you did it, then if you did it, there is one more level that we could go to if you want. Come on, shall we do it? Let's do it. Let's do it, guys. Come on. All together. Right, so this one, you just say many men and then many women. So you combine the two, okay? So, I'll demonstrate and then we'll all do it together. Many men, many women, 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 many men. Right, okay, you ready? I see it helps if you do this for some reason. I don't know why, it seems to help me. Okay, so we'll all do it together after three. One, two, three. Many men, many women, 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 many men. Well done, guys. Give yourself a little bit of a round of applause there. That was very, 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 very good. Okay, now comes to the amazing, oh, one more warm up that I wrote down and we haven't done, so we're gonna do it. Now for this, I need to just stretch it really nice and big. Take lots of lovely deep breaths in. So deep breath in, and then out. <sighs> lovely, and one more deep breath in. Now one more deep breath, <sighs> out it goes, lovely. Now I'd like you, this is to warm up our chests. I'm gonna need your best Tarzan calls. Are you ready? Are you ready? So nice, big, feet, feet quite far apart, nice big, Tarzan stance, you know Tarzan. Don't hit your chest too hard, it's just to warm it up, so nice gentle taps, but we go oh. Lovely, keep going guys, keep going nice and loud. If you've got a window, go to the window and do it there so everybody outside can see you going like this to the window, it'd be hilarious. Go on guys, keep going, keep going. And that comes to a close. Lovely. 
Well done, because right now I'm going to do my modern technology thing and I'll see you in a minute where we'll do some little, quite fun little exercises. Okay, I'm going to pause it. Pausing now. And I'm back. Now you may be wondering what we're doing on the floor. So everybody, get on the floor on your hands and knees and we're going to do a couple of little exercises that help release the back muscles so it makes it easier for everyone to make nice deep breaths which helps us when we're acting because it means we can take deeper breaths and we can project louder okay so everybody this is the cat and the cow so for the cow we are gonna bend our hands down stick our heads up and then arch our back like this and go so everybody do that for me this sort of shape and a lovely that's it and then we're gonna do the cat which is the opposite way so you bring your tummy up like this so your it arches your back in this direction and you go meow so everybody do that for me lovely right and then we're gonna go back to the cow so we're gonna go and then inwards for the cat meow and meow. and then one more cat meow lovely fantastic right now I'm going to pause it again and we'll start the exercise ooh modern technology pausing now and then as if by magic we are back sitting up oh. Oh. Steven Spielberg eat your heart out hey kids right so the main challenge today um, you should have a copy of a Matilda monologue and a Bruce monologue these are both from Matilda the musical now what I'm what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on both of these monologues we're gonna go through them and I'm gonna give you loads of little tools that you can use if you ever have speeches things to like things to think about so how you approach a bit of text like this and then what I'd like you to do is I'd like for you to film yourself performing either the Matilda or the Bruce monologue now it's not a memory test you don't have to learn it if you want to learn it that's fine you can do but it's not a memory test okay so if you want it in front of you that's absolutely fine guys okay so what I'd like you to do is to film yourself doing this as a character so we're going to work on character development a little bit and then we're going to work on the text and then I'm gonna leave you to it. So you can go you can go to town on this guys. You can be as creative as you like, okay? There's no there's no limits, there's no rules. If you wanna put on a bit of a costume, you can. If you wanna kind of make it into a little scene as if you know you could have other people in it, you can have members of your family in it, that's absolutely fine, okay? You can do whatever you want. There's no wrong answers in this, okay? I'd just like to see you. Be lovely and creative and make a character. That's all I want to see, okay? Right, so, and it, you can, if it doesn't matter which monologue you choose. So, if you're a girl and you decide to choose the Bruce monologue, that's fine. If you're a boy and you decide to do the Matilda monologue because you think, oh, actually, I like that one better, that's absolutely fine. It, it doesn't have to be if you're a boy, you do the boys' monologue. If you're a girl, you do the girls' monologue. Not at all. Whichever one you like more, and you think, oh, I can do more with that, or, oh, that one seems a bit more fun, then that's the one you do. Lovely. Right, okay, so, first of all, I'd like you standing up in a nice neutral pose. That's what we always start off as actors. We start off in neutral pose. So, feet hip width apart, shoulders back, nice and relaxed. And I'd just like you to work whatever part of the room, your bedroom, the living room you have, I'd just like you to walk around like we do in the lessons. Just in neutral, okay? So just keep walking around for me. And then I am going to ask you some questions. And I would like you to think about your character. So, if you've chosen Matilda or if you've chosen Bruce, so just keep walking around in neutral. And... These are all things to do to develop character. It's what professional actors do all the time. 
So I'd like you to think about how your character walks. So if you've decided to be Bruce, how do you think Bruce walks? In day to day, so if he's just walking into the kitchen to get a drink, how does he walk? And for the same for Matilda, if she's walking into the kitchen, how does she walk? Just her normal everyday walk. Lovely. And now I'd like you to think how would your character walk if they were in a rush? Like they were really panicked and they were really, really in a rush. Say that they were late for the bus to school and they could they can't miss the bus because they'll get in trouble if they miss the bus. Okay? Lovely. Keep walking around like you're in a panic, like you're in a panic, and then how would your character react if they did miss the bus? Would they be angry with themselves? Would they be annoyed at the bus because the bus got there a little bit earlier than it usually does? Would they be disappointed? Would they be scared about what their mum or dad's going to say because they missed the bus? Have a think. Lovely. And then back to neutral for me. Now, this is a different exercise that we do all the time in the acting world. A director will always say this to you when you're doing a character. What animal is your character? And the joyous thing about this is, guys, is that there's no wrong answers. Whatever you think, oh, I think my character's like a bird, or my character's like a lion, then that's exactly right. It's because it's what you think. That's your interpretation of the character. And as actors, that's the beauty of it. That's what we get to do. So if you decided to be Bruce or you've decided to be Matilda, I'd like you to think, what animal are they? Just have a think. And how would that impact how they move? Mm. So say if I was Matilda and I thought Matilda was, say for example, an owl. Owls are quite wise, aren't they? So would she, and she's the interfering quite regal, so would she walk a bit more like this? A bit like, would she glide more as an owl does? Or, say if I was Bruce and I said he was a like a hippopotamus, would he be, would, how would that affect how would he walk? Hmm. Would he walk a bit more like this? <clears throat> a bit more weighted, a bit more heavy, a bit slow, because hippopotamuses can be slow sometimes, can't they? Lovely. So, whatever you've chosen, there's no wrong answers. Lovely. So we've got how your character walks. We've got what sort of animal is your character. And now we're going to move on to how your character speaks. Do they have a different voice to what your natural voice is? Do they sound quite similar? Do they have an accent? Whatever you want, there is no wrong answers. So, if you decided to be Bruce, I'd like you to say the words, I stole the cake. So just try out different voices if you think they've got a lower voice than you, or if they've got more of a nasally voice than you, or if they have an accent, do they talk like this? You know, and your words are, I stole the cake. And if you've chosen Matilda, you would be, yeah, let's do, what could be your words? Um, uh, I needed to learn to read. That can be your sentence. It's just a very quick, just basic, it's part of the text. So, how does Matilda talk? Does she have more of a light-hearted voice than you? Does she have more of a grounded voice than you do? All these sorts of things. There's no wrong answers. Does she have an accent? Well, anything you like. Does she have a sort of a, like a little lisp or something? Or whatever you want, guys. There's no wrong answers in this, okay? Lovely. So we've got how our character walks, how our character speaks, how we think our character would react in some certain situations. Oh, another one. Everybody, keep walking around, keep walking around. Keep saying your lines. So for Bruce, that is, I stole the cake. And for Matilda is, I needed to learn to read. Keep going around. And then I'll break to freeze. And you see in the corner of the room a birthday present addressed to you. But your birthday's not for another day. Now, how would your character react? Would your character see the birthday present and think, oh, it's just there. I can just take a little peek. It's only in a box. It's not wrapped up in wrapping paper, so I can have a little peek and they won't know. Or would your character 
quickly turn and move away and pretend they haven't seen it at all. What do you think your character would do in that situation? And I want you to act out for me, so choose a corner in the room. You see a present there, but it's in, it's in a box, but you can see it's addressed to you. Now I want you to act out what you think your character would do. Would your character go and have a little peek? Be really scared to see if their mum or dad was going to come? Or would you quickly run away and pretend like it was her? Or would you go and, or would it be a bit of a, like a conundrum? Would your character want to go, but then realise it? Oh, I shouldn't, but really want to see what's inside. But also really scared. I want you to act that out for me now. Lovely. Keep going, guys. You're doing so well. I'm really, really pleased with how much you guys have taken in so far. You've done brilliantly, okay? Right, so now I need everybody to grab a pen or a pe pen or a pencil. I'll put all this in the email as well, guys, so you'll know what you need beforehand. I have both, and I also have a highlighter. I don't know why. Who knows? Okay, so there's a couple of rules, very basic rules for going through a piece of text as an actor. The first one is that every sentence is a different thought. Now, what do I mean by that? I mean that every sentence has a different emotional feeling attached to it because it's a different thought. So say you can have four sentences, say for example, if I said, I went to Tesco's yesterday there wasn't any pasta, but I got rice instead. That's three sentences, but they're all about my trip to Tesco's. And if I say them very plainly like that, so yesterday I went to Tesco's, there wasn't any pasta, I got rice instead. It's a bit naff, isn't it? It's a bit rubbish. Not very interesting to watch as an audience member. And that's not how people speak, not, you know, in day-to-day -day life. But say if I said, I went to Tesco's yesterday. I didn't have any pasta. I got rice instead. See, completely different emotional reactions. She was except I was excited to go to Tesco's. I was disappointed they didn't have any pasta, and I was a bit, a bit sad that I had to get rice instead. Yeah. So that's how that's how human beings work, and that's how when you look at look at these, I want you to mark through with a line every time a sentence ends. So say with the Matilda one, see, I've just put in a little dash after the yes. So you can see that that's its own, that's its own thought. Okay, so you can, I'd like you guys to go through it and put dashes through each of them. So there are four bits of punctuation, isn't there, that makes a sentence. There's one, a full stop. There is a question mark and a exclamation mark and I said four, but I think there's actually three. Yeah, there's three. I got that wrong. <laughs> there's three. Or if there is another one and I'm and you're yelling at me saying it because I can't think of it, then you'll have to let in the email when you send us a video, send a little video of you telling me what the other one is. But we'll go for those. Yeah, there's three. I'm pretty sure there's three. Okay, so go through your bit of text and every time you see a, a full stop, an exclamation mark, or a question mark, put a little slash after it, okay? So. Lovely, so keep going guys, you can have a couple of minutes for this. If you want your mum and dad to help you, that's fine. Go get, go get them and get them to help. Ask them if there's a fourth one for punctuation. There might be, I don't know. Right, okay. And for everyone who's chosen the Bruce monologue, those little bits in italics, the bit where it says his belly rumbles and rumble, Bruce sets out a truly enormous burp, but really, really enormous. It goes on forever, it hovers above him. That's stage directions. So that's not bits you have to say, that's bits you have to act out, okay? So keep going, and you don't have to worry about doing the slashes for those bits in italics. Right, okay, so keep going, guys. We have a couple of more minutes for this. Lovely. Lovely. Brilliant. Now I'll do the Matilda one just as a little starting off, just a little to demonstrate what we're going to do next. And now does everyone know the difference between the different bits of punctuation? So 
question mark is quite obvious. It's a question, full stop, it's just a full stop, and an exclamation mark. When it's written down in text, what do we think it means if it's an exclamation mark? Exactly, so it's like a, it's like excitement or panic, but it's usually much more of an intense sort of feeling, okay? So, righty, I'll just do Matilda's ones, and then we'll go through both of them, but I'll just do this one to start off with, just to give you a little bit of, like an example of what I want you to do. Lovely, right, so, you've got your, You've got your bit of paper with all the slashes for the different sentences. Now, I'd like you to read through it, walk around, reading through it, and every time you get to a slash, so at the end of the sentence, I want you to turn and turn to a different direction and keep walking. So, from the children, we would go, yes. Well, I needed to learn to read words so that I could read a bunch of sentences. Because basically, a sentence is just a big bunch of words. And if you can't read sentences, you've got no chance with books. <gasps> oh no, she's coming, sort of thing. Okay, so everybody have a go, guys and gals who have got the Bruce one. You do the exact same thing. Lovely, just go through it for a couple of minutes. Wonderful. That's it guys, keep going. Lovely. That's it. That's it guys, keep going. You're doing well, doing really well. Wonderful. And we'll bring it to a close. If you haven't got all the way through, that's absolutely fine. This could be something you can do before you film it for me. So key. So yeah, we'll finish the sentence you're on. And lovely, brilliant. Okay, so how did that feel? It, I hope it kind of made it a little bit easier to see how easy it is to change the thoughts with the new sentences because you're changing direction so you can think so that's just one little thing that we do all the time as actors change direction when you've got a new sentence it helps change the thought so we are gonna that'll be the only one we do for today i think we can do some more another time um but now we'll finish it off here and what i'd like for you to do is so yeah i'd like you to film them for me and then send them to Kate and she can forward them over to me. Um, and I really look forward to seeing them. You can, you can go as simple as you like, you can go as crazy creative as you like. Like I, I don't mind, whatever you wanna do, I will be happy with, okay? And I can't wait to see all these lovely, lovely performances. And I'll hopefully see you soon. And guys, stay safe, stay inside, and let's support our NHS, okay? All right, have a lovely, lovely week. Bye.